A trip to the bank nearly cost that San Diego woman her life. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt in for Lindsay Pena. The woman dove clear as the couple with their grandbaby in the backseat plowed their car into the ATM. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis sees live at the Bank of America in Rancho San Diego. And Lauren, that woman just was moved to tears as she realized how close she came to disaster. Absolutely. As you can see, they are boarding up where the doors used to be on this bank. Behind the boards, two ATMs. And at one of those is where a woman was this morning getting out cash when she had to dive out of the way to save her life. Cecilia Molina came to the bank to get money, but nearly lost her life when a car barreled through the front door. The noise just got louder and louder. It was moved from a slam to a crash to shattering windows, and then the car just kept coming. I thought it would stop, and it went all the way through. She jumped out of the way, narrowly escaping the car crashing in beside her. Ran as fast as I could out of the way. Didn't really have any time to think. The woman behind the wheel and her husband were uninjured. Police say she just hit the wrong pedal. She mistaken the accelerator from the gas and made this B of A a drive through B of A. Along for the terrifying ride, the couple's two and a half year old granddaughter in the back seat. Luckily, she wasn't hurt. Her mother rushing to the scene to make sure her baby was okay. I'm just, I was just a little worried about it. It's, ter it's very terrible. Um, I don't even know. Yeah, I just want to make sure that they were okay. The building inspector arrived on scene to investigate the damage. They closed the bank until they know for sure it's safe to reopen for business. And the car that caused it all hauled away by a tow truck. Now Yamalina is just stunned and thanking she survived this terrible crash. This is pretty severe. It's not a small little crash into a wall. <laughs> Took out two walls and shattered two doors. Yeah, very scary for her. A lot of customers have been showing up today trying to get inside the bank, but as you can see, the bank is still closed for now. They are telling the customers to come back tomorrow, but they are really unsure of when it will reopen right now. As for the driver, she is not expected to face any charges. In Rancho San Diego, Lauren Davis, 10 News. A lot of nerves rattled there. Thank you, Lauren.